DM Jim here. And wishing everyone good gaming. Today's video is just going to be me talking a little bit about what's going on in my game and uh, addressing some issues. Maybe, maybe I'll tell a story of like when I was the worst player ever. Anyway, uh, my daughter drew some pictures of some elves, so there they are. Um, they're pretty cool, I guess. I like them. I think she did a good job. Elves in my campaign world tend to have almost albino white skin and uh, be very tall, seven foot, but also thin. In addition to working on the, that, I've been building little bookcases for the library, which is within the city of Hell, and uh, one of the major adventure locations. Uh, what I did is I used a hot glue gun to glue uh, strips of wood to a, to a plastic backing, and then... Once I had it set up the way I wanted, I, I glued strips of paper. Like I took a strip of paper and, and ran glue down it. And I folded it over and over and over and over. And then I let it completely dry and cut it down the middle. And if it was um, too thick or too tall, I'd cut it across. And in that way, create four books. Um, the scrolls you see are just paper with glue on them rolled into a uh, a roll and glued onto the glued onto the um, bookshelf I, I just really felt like if you're gonna have a library you probably should have some bookshelves it, it'll make for some interesting terrain so what else? Oh, well, these weren't too hard to make either. I mean, they might not look like as good as the, the ones that are cast out of uh, plaster, but they were pretty easy to make and cheap. I had all the, you know, they're free because I had all the stuff already. And then again, here's our map of the City of Pell. Uh, building 29 is the library. So, uh... That's where this adventure, or that adventure location will be. I haven't really decided what monsters to put in it, and as one of the players is sitting very close to me, I can't really go into too much detail. Uh, let's just say it's going to be very similar to the um, library from the City of Flan. So... I think that'll be good. Uh, plus, there's all kinds of other monsters that can be thrown in there, and I've created a few new monsters or added a few monsters to the game that don't generally appear in Dungeons and Dragons. So, like River Maidens and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Russian folklore monsters since the the culture of this area has a very, you know, Russo Viking feel to it. So, yeah, they have to cross this river full of known to be inhabited by giant carnivorous fish. I mean, it's not like it's crawling with them, but they're in there. So if you swim in it, you know, you could swim in it a hundred times and have no problem. And then that 101, you get 8. Yeah, this come off of a... This picture is from some sort of uh, alcohol. But it is the perfect representation of gnomes in my campaign world. Um, kind, kind of little bastards is what a gnome is in my campaign world. Uh, they are not into making, uh, you know, all kinds of technological garbage, you know, like with, uh, you know, basic D&D &D and, and things of that nature. Um, 
their main thing is is they're metallurgists beyond compare um, and even have figured out how to make bows and arrows and such out of aluminum so which they call white steel or white metal uh, gnomish equipment is incredibly costly but worth it since it's so much better in other changes um, I decided instead of rolling a straight d20 for attributes to roll two and have the average um, I tested it a few times myself just to see what would happen and I like it I think it uh, it it takes the uh, bell curve down a little bit however certain people were not thrilled by the idea of it and there was more than a little bit of convincing needed before they would come around um, afterwards though I think I think most of the persons involved got it and uh, and are happy enough we'll see next adventure uh, how it works out I also made it where instead of 1 die 20 times 10 for starting gold it's 2 die 20 added together times 5 because that average means you you don't have some poor schmuck starting the game with uh, you know 10 gold anyway that's about all I have for tonight. Remember to be thankful to the patriarchy, since you wouldn't have any of this without it. And uh, game on. DM Jim out.